Hey everyone, welcome back to the AI Chronicles, where we explain everything related to AI using simple language anybody can understand. In today's video, we'll be sharing with you the stunning statements the CEO of OpenAI disclosed about GPT-5 model, which is expected to be the most powerful AI model ever created. We'll also discuss the proposed OpenAI Academy and the outcome of the dialogues between Sam Altman and various world leaders, including Isaac Herzog and French President Emmanuel Macron. Since its inception in 2015, OpenAI has become one of the fastest growing research and deployment companies in the AI industry. The company's main goal is to build safe artificial general intelligence systems for the benefit of humanity. True to its promise, the startup has developed several useful AI tools over the years. This includes DAL-E, Whisper, Codex, and ChatGPT. DALI is an AI tool that creates realistic digital images and art from simple text prompts. Whisper, on the other hand, is a speech recognition AI model that converts spoken language into written texts, while Codex is a tool that allows programmers to convert natural human language to code. And of course, everyone knows ChatGPT, the groundbreaking AI tool for natural language processing that takes inputs from users and generates human-like responses. One thing that all of these tools share in common is that they're powered by the same large language model designed by OpenAI. Initially, they were powered by the generative pre-trained Transformer 3, popularly called GPT-3. Basically, GPT-3 is a neural network model that uses deep learning to generate human-like texts. Trained on 175 billion parameters, this incredible AI model came with a lot of features that stunned the entire world. But in a quest to improve its features, OpenAI recently launched an optimized version of ChatGPT that's powered by GPT-4. Unexpectedly, it blew our minds as well. Trained with 170 trillion parameters, GPT-4 is 1,000 times larger and 100 times more advanced than GPT-3. Parameters are data elements like variables and values that an AI model learns during the machine learning process. Basically, every response or prediction that an AI model makes is based on these elements that has been trained on and the more accurate these elements are, the more intelligent the AI model will be. But just in case you're interested in learning more about parameters, we've got an exciting video that explains the features of the Microsoft Orca AI model and how it utilizes parameters to generate high quality responses. You can find the link in the description below. With the GPT-4 language model, the data parameters it is trained on are quite enormous and this larger memory means it is able to understand the context of conversations better and distinguish nuances which ultimately helps to generate more accurate and coherent responses. As a multimodal AI tool, GPT-4 can receive inputs in both text and images. So, if you're too lazy to type in prompts, you could simply ask GPT-4 to describe the information in a picture, and it will gladly oblige. In addition, GPT-4 is capable of communicating in different dialects. For instance, in this image right here, the user commands ChatGPT to first assume the role of a dialect expert and then initiate a conversation with GPT-4 to test its abilities to respond to questions in different dialects, including Cockney, Southern American, and Australian. Normally, Tasks like this are quite difficult to solve, even for humans, because each dialect comes with its own unique vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation. But as you can see from the response, GPT-4 completes the task with ease. Another impressive thing about GPT-4 is that unlike GPT-3.5, it can recognize and respond to the different emotions expressed in the input text. So, for instance, if you input a prompt expressing happiness about landing your dream job, GPT-4 can join in the celebration by writing you a congratulatory message. At the same time, if a user expresses a feeling of sadness or frustration, the AI model can offer soothing words of encouragement. Furthermore, the improvements added to GPT-4 means it is able to connect logical dots and answer complex questions by synthesizing information from multiple sources. Like in this example here, where the model was asked to find the relationship between the decline in bee production and the impact on global agriculture, the user also specifies that the response must contain multiple sources, statistics, and a potential solution to the problem. Surprisingly, the language model produced a very robust answer. In fact, it even goes over and beyond to cite the sources from which the response was curated. 
That's absolutely impressive if you ask me. And lastly, GPT-4 has a better token capacity compared to GPT-3. Before a chatbot processes a prompt, it breaks down the input into smaller pieces known as tokens. It's important to note that tokens aren't necessarily split where words start or end. They can also include trailing spaces and even subwords. So in other words, tokens are what determine the number of words a user can include in their prompts. To understand this concept better, let's look at how texts are divided into tokens. In the English language, one token is equivalent to four characters or 0.75 words. Based on this arithmetic, we can conclude that 100 tokens are roughly equal to 75 words. GPT-4 has an impressive capacity of handling up to 32,000 tokens per request, while GPT-3 can handle between 2,048 and 4,097 tokens per request. This means that GPT-3 cannot accept inputs beyond 3,000 words, while GPT-4, on the other hand, can handle inputs of up to 24,000 words, which is quite outstanding. However, more exciting news awaits us with the incoming GPT-5. According to early reports, the sophisticated AI model will have unlimited tokens per request capacity, meaning it will be able to handle prompts with an unlimited number of words. This groundbreaking advancement will revolutionize the interaction between users and AI tools. Furthermore, GPT-5 will offer more computing power than all of its predecessors and additional multimodal capabilities, including audio and video. This means it will support features like facial expression, emotion detection, and gesture control. These are critical features that many users have been craving for in the last few months, and it's only fair that they get it with this incoming upgrade. Already, the offshoot version of Google's Palm 2 has shown how sophisticated multimodal AI tools can be used to solve complex real life even in the medical sector. And the success story should serve as strong motivation for OpenAI to introduce these capabilities in GPT-5. In addition to the expanded modalities, GPT-5 will showcase an unprecedented level of creativity, deep thinking, and consistency. It will also excel at remembering details of a conversation and answering complex scientific questions with confidence and ease. Currently, with GPT-3 and GPT-4, there are occasional instances of excessive apologies and inaccurate or nonsensical answers. However, OpenAI hopes to overcome these limitations with the introduction of GPT-5, because in the end, we all want our AI models to be confident, accurate, and reliable at all times. To be fair, some of the reported features sound very unrealistic, but with Sam Altman at the helm of affairs, there's a strong sense of optimism among experts that GPT-5 will take the world by storm when it is launched later this year or in early 2024. That extreme level of confidence that experts have in GPT-5 is fueled by the reputation of the personalities behind OpenAI. While Elon Musk is often hailed as the best tech innovator in the world, Sam Altman has made a case for himself in recent times. Interestingly, both Musk and Altman were among the brilliant minds that started the OpenAI project in 2015. But the Tesla and Twitter CEO left the board in 2018 after disagreement with other senior executives over his planned attempt to take over the business. And even though Musk claims to be the reason OpenAI exists... OpenAI, I mean, you seem somewhat frustrated with them. You were one of the big contributors early on. The reason I, I am the reason OpenAI exists. Sam Altman has been the brain behind its recent success. The company itself is less than a decade old and has fewer than 500 staff, but somehow its main product, ChatGPT, has over 100 million users, and its website generates nearly 2 billion visits every month. This is a huge achievement considering that the AI chatbot was only released in November 2022. But perhaps we shouldn't be surprised because Sam Altman has a track record of delivering success with the projects he has overseen in the past. Before his time in OpenAI, Altman built a smartphone app called Looped and also led a successful startup accelerator company called Y Combinator. He also founded a venture capital fund called Hydrazine Capital and has running investments in several thriving startups like Reddit, Asada, Helion Energy, Patreon, and Neuralink. With this investment portfolio, you can bet that OpenAI is in safe hands. What makes it even better is that Altman's work at OpenAI is driven by passion. During a rigorous session at the US Congress, where he was grilled on the safety of AI, Sam Altman confirmed that he doesn't have equities in OpenAI. You make a lot of money, do you? I make, no. Uh, I paid enough for health insurance, I have no equity in OpenAI. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. You need a lawyer. I need a what? You need a lawyer or an agent. I, I'm doing this because I love it. 
In addition to his ambitious vision of creating the world's most sophisticated AI model, Sam Altman has a grand plan to harness the power of generative AI to revolutionize education. To achieve this, the tech guru is proposing a landmark partnership between OpenAI and the famous Khan Academy to create an AI-powered learning platform that will be called OpenAI Academy. Using the remarkable capabilities of GPT-5, OpenAI Academy will offer a wide range of courses spanning various disciplines such as science, mathematics, art, and music. The platform will provide flexibility for users, allowing them to engage with the language model as their instructor, tutor, mentor, or even a supportive companion. But it doesn't end there. Course creators will also be able to create and distribute their own courses on the platform with the help of the AI model. Currently, Khan Academy is already using the GPT-4 model to power its AI-powered educational assistant called Khanmigo. However, the release date of the OpenAI Academy has not been announced yet. But tentatively, we expect that the Academy will be up and running a few months after the launch of GPT-5. As always, every new AI product is always played by ethical and safety concerns, and GPT-5 is no different. Some of the popular concerns include transparency, data breaches, information accuracy, bias, and respect for human rights, and other fundamental values. However, Sam Altman and the entire team at OpenAI are working around the clock to ensure these problems do not arise with GPT-5. First and foremost, the tech genius admits that technology can be quite dangerous. I think if this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong, uh, and we want to be vocal about that. We want to work with the government. While acknowledging the dangers, Sam Altman emphasizes OpenAI's dedication to collaborating with the government to address these risks effectively. And even though it seems like the United States is keen to enforce strict regulations, European countries are actually one step ahead when it comes to formulating and implementing practical AI laws. For the United States, the focus tends to be more on the risk of AI becoming sentient and turning against humans. But European countries are proactively addressing immediate risks associated with AI products, such as misinformation, job loss, and data breaches. Most of these concerns were highlighted in the open letter on AI dangers signed by Elon Musk and many other industry leaders. Sam Altman also signed a one-sentence open letter released by the Center for AI Safety, which reads, Mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal scale risks, such as pandemics and nuclear war. The EU, on its part, is acting swiftly to implement strong regulations to address these concerns. Through the proposed AI Act, the countries under the EU umbrella will be able to classify AI systems and products based on the various levels of risk they offer. Any AI tools that falls under the high risk category will face strict regulations, while those classified under the unacceptable risk category will be banned outrightly. Even AI tools that pose zero or minimal risk must inform users that they are interacting with an AI system and all deepfake content must be labeled accordingly. In addition to his efforts behind the scenes, Sam Altman also embarked on a historic tour across Europe and beyond to discuss the benefits and risk of AI with several world leaders, including President of the State of Israel, Isaac Herzog, and President Emmanuel Macron of France. President Herzog showed huge praises on ChatGPT, saying that the software is wise and deep. However, he also emphasized that it needs to tackle the ethics and morality concerns around AI and also to ensure that it is used for the benefit of humanity. Aside from President Macron and Isaac Herzog, Altman has also met with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, South Korean President Yoon suk yeol and other notable figures in Jordan, Qatar, and the United Arab Emirates. This highlights his commitment to transparency, even as he attempts to steer us into the next big AI revolution. Of course, there is a lot of competition from other big tech startups, especially Google and Microsoft, but judging by his reputation and the determination he has shown so far, we expect Sam Altman to pull this off in style. This is where we draw the curtain on today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please share this video, hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content like this one. And if you like this video, check out this one as well.